find. I'm so glad you're here. So today I wanted to have a shopping haul of all the things that we recently purchased to help us kind of start our business. Um, we have been trying to dabble and get into a variety of things for some extra income. Because I homeschool my children, uh, there isn't a whole lot of time for me to work outside the house. Um, in addition, uh, my previous experience would really lead more to full-time jobs rather than like part-time jobs. And so that's kind of where we're at. I would rather do my own thing and kind of have my own schedule anyway. I think ultimately I'd make more money doing that. And so that's what we're trying to do. So we are trying to do some like personal like skincare products and it's basically personal products. And then we're also going to be doing some woodwork, woodworking products that we want to sell as well. So we recently purchased a bunch of things um, from a company called Bulk Apothecary. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it, uh, but they sort of have a lot of bulk craft supplies or things like that to make um, certain products. So that's where we went. Um, we also got this idea from a neighbor of ours um, that we bought some beeswax from for our bees. And he had previously had a, uh, I think, soap making and did a variety of things. And um, my husband is a talker sometimes, occasionally, especially with guys. And so he was just chatting with him and um, uh, the idea started brewing. And I would sort of already kind of had that idea, but we hadn't really pursued it. Anyway, so I'm going to show you some stuff that we purchase to help us make lip balm and a variety of lip balm and we also like to do soap I think but we're not quite there um so yeah so I'd love to show you guys what we got I also have uh, a book that I recently purchased that I love that I wanted to show you guys that's beautiful and about farm life and stuff like that and it's so well done it's so interesting and I also wanted to show you um, some recent artwork that I purchased at a thrift store that I really loved. My husband didn't get it, but I was like, I love this. This is so me. And so I got those too. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I hope it's interesting to you guys and you stick around. So Bulk Apothecary, like I said, it sells bulk supplies for like handmade goods usually. So anyway, that's where we got a lot of our stuff. It's over here. You can see it. It's a big box. And um, so I wanted to show you guys what we got. So I guess. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. All right, so. It has already been opened. <laughs> God, it is so heavy. Ah, okay. So this is the big box. And we did actually look through it, but this we didn't get from them. This is from Amazon, but this is packaging for some soap. Um, we actually purchased some ready-made, like some soap that could be packaged and stuff from us. Now, before everybody screams at the screen and they're like, oh my God, you're selling handmade goods, but you didn't make them and blah, blah, blah. I get it. Um, I actually did not know that existed until we were on the site and it said, Here's products ready to package, ready to label. I think it's what the heading was. And I was like, what is that? So we're interested in making soap. I guess we basically got them because we wanted to see how much soap will sell. So that's kind of our way into this market or whatever. So we can kind of see if people are like making a beeline. <laughs> beeline. If they're making a beeline toward um, the soap, then that's something we were going to invest in and, and put um, our own money into to make it ourselves. Because I really think, uh, you know, a handmade thing, you should try to make it yourself. I know there's a lot of people that don't. Um, I've been looking around at some farmers markets and festivals, things like that, that we wanted to participate in. And... I think um, in one of the applications it said like 85% of the stuff needs to be handmade or homemade or whatever. And I was just like, oh my gosh, that must be a big thing if they have to put it in the application process. So I'm just learning some new things. I didn't even know that stuff existed. Now I do. But anyway, so please don't hate on me too much for going ahead and buying soap that we will sell and see if people you know love natural soap whatever i do i know i purchase it but i'd like a little more information than just myself so 
fine. All right, so we purchased two different ones. And I like both of them. And wow, we really wrapped it back up because we really, they really wrapped it and we really wrapped it and all the things are wrapped. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right, so this is honeysuckle and I think this is like 10 bars. And it smells really nice. It is kind of like a sweet, I don't know, sort of like a sweet, earthy scent, but it definitely has a honeysuckle tone. So this is just 10 bars. So I think we purchased, you know, two soaps, so it would be 20 bars in total. And that's, you know, pretty much it. But it's very pretty, pretty simple. So we have labels and stuff for those. And then afterwards we will be making our own. If these, if these sell quickly, we'll probably be making our own. So there's that. And this one is Cedarwood Tea Tree. And I like this one. This is really just a very natural scent. Um, my husband kind of wanted to get some products that were aimed toward men as well, or, or that could be used, men could use. And I think, I don't know about the honeysuckle. I mean, it's not crazy feminine. It's not a very strong feminine scent, but this one is, this one's more neutral. I can see a woman using this or a man. So there you go. Anyway, so those are the two. So cedarwood, tea tree, and honeysuckle. So we will see if these sell, and if they do, then we will be making soap. <laughs> so there you go. So a couple things of white beeswax. Beeswax is quite expensive. We do have bees, but um, unless we have a lot of hives, they're not going to, we're not gonna harvest the beeswax because apparently that would put us behind um, if we did that because there's only two hives that we have right now. And so if we if we expand and you have more hives, then we may be able to get some of that beeswax, but probably not. So if we harvest it, it would kind of put the bees behind, essentially. So we have two bags of that, and these are just small pellets, and that helps them melt easier. So I've been learning about all this stuff, and that helps them melt a little bit easier when you're processing stuff. So we got those. What else? Oh, this one's kind of fun. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Small bucket of shea butter, y'all. Shea butter. This is seven pounds of shea butter. So, and that can also be used in soap. That can also be used in deodorant. So, that's really kind of one of the things we were thinking. I was also toying around with the idea of making natural deodorant. So, we'll see <laughs> what happens. Um, we also got this. This is um, pink mica powder. We got two of these. So if you can tell, it's like really, I don't know. I don't know how to do the whole thing, but so it's pink. So we could use this for kind of like a lip balm, you know, kind of thing. Um, you see, it's very, very fine powder. So this would last a long time. We got two of them. And then I assume the more you add, you know, it can change the color. So there's probably like a whole, you know, scale of pink that you can to so light pink to really real dark pink and that kind of thing. So we got two of those as well. It's pretty cool. Let's see. I so need to cut my hair. It's it's driving me a little crazy. <sighs> so we got better stevia, uh, organic zero calorie calorie liquid sweetener. So I didn't even anyway. We got this one here. I don't know why we got that exactly. Hmm. All right, we got some, we got a lot of some essential oils and some flavors. So juicy mango flavor. We got coconut cream flavor. Now this is the one I picked out and I also picked out the juicy mango. So this basically smells like dessert and it's called chocolate or coconut cream. So yeah, pretty much smells like coconut cake which I love, so let's try the juicy mango too. The juicy mango smells like mango. Shocking. Mm. What else did we get? Oh, we got bourbon flavor, because again, my husband was interested in doing products for men. 
as well as women. And so it really does. He didn't think it smelled like a strong bourbon flavor. We both love bourbon, by the way, but I'm not a huge drinker, but I do like bourbon. It definitely has like a hint of bourbon, but I think, I think that would be a good scent for some male, you know, products or whatever. Um, I have peppermint, Japan essential oil. I don't know why it says Japan. I cannot remember. I mean, I guess it's processed in Japan. That would make sense. So peppermint, Japan essential oil. I mean, it smells like peppermint. <laughs> Girl! Okay, so the peppermint is an essential oil, not a flavor. And this is strawberry flavor. So we got some flavor and some essential oils. Oh, <laughs> this one's kind of funny, but I honestly can see people liking it. It's bacon flavor. And again, that was a product sort of aimed at men. Um, you know, it will be in products that are aimed at men, but uh, it kind of weirdly the love of bacon is just a deep thing in our house. I don't know. I don't actually, I like bacon. My husband and my kids love bacon. Yeah, and this pretty much smells like imitation bacon. <laughs> but, you know, it may mellow out when we use it in a product or whatever. It definitely has like a smoky bacon flavor, but it kind of smells like um, bacon, bacon, but whatever. Uh, cocoa butter, pure natural. I got some of that and I do like cocoa butter we also have cocoa coconut oil but we kind of already had that I'm gonna see yeah it, it almost sounds like <clears throat> it has sort of a base scent of a like chocolate chips almost <clears throat> so that's gonna be one of the flavors I would I think that'll be really nice for lip balm yeah, it reminds me if there's parents out there that buy fruit snacks, it's kind of what it smells like. <laughs> the packaging of fruit snacks, but I think it'll be good for lip balm, and so I'm excited about that one too. And then we also got Organic Clear Jojoba Oil. So they put this a lot of times in shampoo. Um, it's good for your skin, good for your hair, and stuff like that. So that was uh, one of the recipes I wanted to try out for lip balm. They asked for Jojoba. I, am. I assume I'm saying that correctly. But anyway, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. So we have the beeswax, we have the shea butter, we have the coconut butter, the coconut oil. We already have that will be processed as well. And then, and then the beeswax. Of course, this big guy for shea butter. So beeswax, shea butter coconut oil, jojoba oil, things like that. So yeah, that's the bulk apothecary haul. My nails are chipped, but slightly purple. My daughter from Mother's Day, actually daughters, my daughters, um, they gave me a spa day. Um, and they, I was not feeling good on Mother's Day. So we basically just sat here and they painted my nails and stuff like that. And we put on spa music and things like that. And then they tried to give me a facial type of thing, I guess. And then, um, they had me close my eyes and then they had a wet cloth over my eyes and the cloth was like drip, drip, dripping cold water on my neck. And I was just like, all right, it's sweet. I don't care. <laughs> they were just being sweet. So they did my nails and it's, you know, fading obviously now, but boop. Yeah, it's fading. But, um, and very, very chipped. But that's kind of how I roll in my life. So, yeah. Anywho, but they did that and it was super sweet. And we had like spa music, spa music on and stuff. And it was just cute. And, um, they just tried to be really sweet. And they also picked me a bunch of um, wildflowers. So they picked, a, like, gave me two bouquets of, like, wildflowers and stuff like that. I don't know why this is wildflowers, but it is. Um, but it was really cute, and they are the sweetest little things. They also made me, with the help of Daddy, 
a bunny cake sort of so he didn't want a huge um <clears throat> cake my husband didn't want to make a huge cake so he basically did one cake like one round layer and then cut it in half and then set it like upright so it's sort of like that shape and then made it into a bunny and my little girl made bunny ears and then they did eyes and a nose and stuff like that and it was actually very cute and it was good <laughs> so that's what they did for me for mother's day which i very much appreciated and it was so sweet so anyway i we don't really do awesome we had a good time and i have very sweet special uh, children and a wonderful husband so there you go anyway. So I wanted to go, uh, show you guys a few things that I got recently at the thrift store. And um, I purchased some art at the thrift store. And I usually don't find a lot of good art at thrift stores frequently. I mean, you might find a nice frame or something like that. But a lot of times people buy the frames, they replace the art. But this I actually found and I really like the artwork. I like the print a lot. I also look like architectural prints. So I think this will go well with some other prints that I showed on a previous video. Um, I think it'll all go together as a nice, you know, collection and I'll keep, you know, adding to it. But it? Uh, there's a glare, but hopefully you can see it. There's like a pool and it really, it does kind of look like Moroccan architecture. It says it is the Court of the Alberca. And it's engraved by Jay Stevenson and drawn by David Roberts. So that's that one. And this is another one drawn by the same person. Um, David Roberts and then engraved by Rob T. Wallace. So that's a different person for the engraving. But it says remains of Moorish Bridge on the Darrow. But I love this. There's so much detail and it's really quite a large picture. Let me see. Let's get on in there. Yep. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. I really like it. So I think this will go nicely with my other pictures that I had. And then I wanted to show you guys this. So when I went to a homeschool conference recently for the first time, because it's our first year homeschooling. So this is the first conference I've ever been to. But I saw this book and I said, oh my gosh, I have to have it. It's very much representative of the life that we're living <laughs> in our new home and everything. So I just had to get it. It's called Farm Anatomy, The Curious Parts and Pieces of Country Life by Julia Rothman. And I thought I was getting this for the kids, but the more that I looked at it, I was like, nope, this is for me. It just has, it's beautiful, but it also has a lot of really useful information about farming and all the elements of farming. So um, I wanted to show you guys some of the pictures or whatever um this is something that's making me laugh because my husband was showing me how to cut up a chicken and i was being a big wuss about it um we have about 50 meat birds right now that are kind of you know in the chicken tractor and i'm gonna have to get over it i'm just gonna have to get over it but this is so it shows in a pretty way how to cut up a chicken and then the tools to do it but I mean, it's so pretty. I just love it. Ugh. And there's some other ones. Oh, these are pretty. Edible flowers. That's interesting. I mean, beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful. I don't know how many edible flowers there are. Probably more than that. But it's still beautiful. Ugh. So I love this book. I've really been looking at it quite often. And it doesn't have a ton. I mean, it does have good information. It's, it doesn't have like a, it's a lot of little blurbs about the different subjects, but still, it's cool. It's very useful and cool. Uh, this was cool. I was showing the girls this. So this is different markings on a horse, which is kind of cool. But anyway, love it. It's so cool. Check it out. Different types of apples. Of course, there's more apples than that. There's like 200 and something different you know, types of apples, but still, it's just neat. I've really been enjoying that. So, so that concludes my shopping haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and, um, you'll come back and check out other things. Um, we are working on our business. We don't have a name yet or anything like that. We're kind of in the early stages, 
But so we've got to set up a name, a website. Um, we have to come up with a logo and sort of a print, uh, like a label, you know, logo with the label and all that stuff. Uh, figure that out. So we're in the process of it, but it's going along well, and we are hoping that we can sell stuff soon. And we're hoping to be in some fall festivals um, that'll be happening. So there are there's a lot to do in the area that we, we moved to. There really is. So much for watching. I hope you are having a great day, and I hope this inspires you maybe to go thrifting or you know work on your own business or whatever. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated on that front. So thanks so much for watching.